All right, let's see what else here. Give yourself room to work. I already talked about that. Give yourself room uh, to add ink, to measure the ink properties, and to uh, add or remove pumps like I just mentioned. Okay, and maybe I'll revise this a little bit. Can carefully consider hose routing. Each pump should be able to be moved around without having to mess around with the others. Like I indicated, you might be doing something you don't want to, you don't want, you know, because this hose is crossed up with that hose over there. Now I got to, if I want to move this pump, I have to move that pump. You don't want to get into that situation. You want to be able to go in there and surgically remove that hose, that pump, the system from that place with everything else running and, and, and you know, not, not getting in the way. Uh, consider quick disconnects and cutoff valves. Um, I love it when the uh, the ends of the hoses on either end, you know, have quick disconnects. It just makes life a lot easier than some kind of screwing in or something like that. And I think that's almost universal nowadays. And if you put um, cutoff valves, you probably want to avoid cutoff valves at the bottom end of the hose. Because if you say, well, should I put a cutoff valve up here or here or both places? If you ever put a cutoff valve down here, you risk uh, the chance of the hose becoming full of ink in some case. And if you're going to handle the hose, all of a sudden you have a hose full of ink that you didn't expect and you can have a huge mess. So I would avoid having cutoff uh, valves at the bottom ends of the hoses. You might have them attached to the pan or something like that. And the hose really, both ends probably would, would just end up having quick disconnects on either end. And you should connect, configure your plumbing or consider configuring your plumbing so that you have quick disconnects on either your doctor chambers or your ink pans or whatever. Um, figure out how to protect the floor so that you're not busy being careful. That's like something I'm going to talk about uniforms, my, my uh, philosophy on uniforms. But uh, if you can find uh, something like... Um, cardboard, you might have, you know, Gaylords that come into the plant for resin or or you use in or somewhere, you get some other materials that might come in boxes, it might be nice to put some cardboard nicely cut out there to start with with your pumps on there. That way you're not so worried about how it's going to be difficult to clean up the floor. Okay? Uh, but be careful with card carton uh, because it can stick uh, if it's le left too long. All right. Now another way, and it's actually my preferred way, a lot of people use the cardboard, but I like to have a very clean sealed floor, right, with no cardboard or anything. And then if there's an ink spill, I like to clean it up immediately, and I like to use a little bit of cat litter and stuff, clean that up, sweep it, clean it, everything clean, and just keep nothing on the floor, no cardboard. But cardboard is an option, and, and really, I could argue for both sides. Um, sawdust, I don't know. I don't know about sawdust, how well that works. It might just become a mess. I like cat litter kind of absorbo type materials, like uh, clay or something. And then there are those pigs, they call them. Actually, I think that's a brand, but it's like tubes filled with that cat litter inside it. That's another good thing sometimes to have around pumps if you have a pro persistent problem with drips and that sort of thing, okay? Now, once you've laid out the routing of your hoses, you've set your set up, everybody agrees we're going to do this, we're all going to give it a try guys, we're going to give this a shot, uh, and once you've done that and your company's gone with it and invested in it, now you're wanna, going to want to consider um, a, a couple of possibilities, okay? Consider whether on the side, now you know, you know how really the decks are more robust, okay? They come out like this, Right now, sometimes on the side here of the machine, you have uh, holes that are already drilled that maybe anticipated some other part that you didn't get for the machine, or or maybe you can get do something, but in some way drill it or whatever. Although you know you have to be careful with that; you have to figure know what you're doing. Uh, but uh, incorporate supports, you know, bent steel. Miles cold rolled mild steel, you know, quarter, you know, stock like this, and shaped so that it helps bring the hoses down away from the machine, and keeps everything in place. So that even if you had to disconnect the hose and move the pump away, it's being supported on its path down. You might have one down here, 
You might have something coming up from the floor. You know. You know, if this is the uh, if this is the side of the machine, right, and the pump is over here, and the drum is going this way, and the hose is coming down to the pump like that, you might have something a, a, a hook there. And then you might have, you know, some kind of guide bolted to the floor that does something there or something like that. It really depends on your situation, how heavy your hoses are, the volume of your ink, you know, all of these things to consider to, that you have to consider. But you know, if you have an ink color press, you, you got a pretty good sized machine, and you might have long lengths of hoses and stuff. And this stuff is real easy to make in the shop and bend the steel and all that. Okay. So let's see if I've got anything else that I wanted to cover. Oh, avoid kinks in the hoses. Okay, that's another thing that that does, by the way. But whether or not you use those kinds of guides on the way down, you want to avoid the hoses getting kinked, and avoid sags. Okay, you don't want you know you don't want to have a support out here and the hose on its way down having a sag in it like that. Okay, because ink can collect here. Uh, it could cause problems. It could cause your hose to come up out of out of the bucket. Uh, it could cause ink to collect there and not flow properly and back up into your ink system and all that. So you want a nice, clean, smooth path running out from your machine down into your ink uh, pump and guided if necessary. Everything dedicated to a certain place and nicely set up like that. And you can do that even in a tight spot. You'd be surprised. Okay? You don't have a choice. Um, and if bolting to the machine is not an option, like I said, you can consider it to the floor. All right? And you might not want to do that you might not want to invest in long-term devices like that until you've confirmed and everybody, you know, everybody's gotten back together and said, you know what, I like, we all like the way this is working, and uh, I think we should go ahead and, and, and commit to, you know, if the situation lends itself to it, to you know, some supports guiding down these hoses and keeping everything in place. So I hope that helped out. I hope this thing can get embedded to the to the uh, bulletin board post, and we'll see how it goes. Take care, guys.